Yo, 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 what's up, yo? This your boy Jiggy J. Get loose, ready, yo. To my right, all the way to my right, we got uh Miss January Summers. What's up, girl? How you doing? It's yeah. all good in the hood. Yeah, 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 yeah. Also to my right, we have my ace. We have Miss Lola Marx. What's up, girl? I sound like you don't you I know, right? <laughs> doing a box. And <laughs> also to all the way in the <laughs> back, standing it. at six foot, weighing at I don't know how much she weighs. <laughs> the producer of Get Loose Radio, Mister Lee, behind the glass. What's, <laughs> what's up, Doug? <laughs> look, I'm in the mood. I'm, look, let me, let me tell you right now, I'm not in the mood. To deal with you and your volume issue today, get it together. It's been a long evening. Shut up. Bro, it really got, has. It really has. On your, uh, teeth. I got lipstick on my teeth. Yeah. God, doggy. Now you just licked it off. I got it off. Yeah, you. Mm-hmm. Okay, thank you. Appreciate you. No doubt. No doubt. No doubt. All right. No. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in to Get Loose Radio. How was your weekend, ma? It was good. Happy Mother's Day to everybody. Yes, happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's, happy Day. Mother's Day. Thank you. A lot of people don't know that though. You, you don't look like a mother. You don't look like a mother. Thank you. I take that as a compliment. You look like you are like our age. Thank you. I take it as a compliment. Absolutely. How old are you? 32. Good answer. <laughs> <laughs> they know how old I am. I said how old I am. <laughs> she I said how old. I said how old I was. Yeah, she yeah, did. yeah. You missed it. <laughs> did, did it say, okay, Lee, we got someone saying that the sound's a little off. The sound is good. She's a <laughs> she probably just late with the Facebook video and everything else. That's I'm playing, I'm playing. <laughs> but nah, man. I hope everybody, hope all the mothers out there, no matter if you're a mother, godmother, taking care Auntie. of somebody's child, yeah, I'm... beating somebody's child, you all consider yep. as a mother. We thank you for all your services and for your unconditional love. What did you do for your mama? Um, well, seeing as though that my mother has a birthday a week apart from Mother's oh, Day. Wow. So I had a, we, my mother and my grandmother, they just wanted to do everything together all at once. So knowing my grandmother, she did not want to go out. Mm-hmm. She said, let's stay home. Let's make dinner and That's let's good. do whatever. What's your grandma cook? Man, she cooked big chicken, macaroni and cheese, Damn. string beans, collard greens, I yams. Know. Why I ain't get a plate she though? Get, I'm not right. Uh, who you think you talk to? You probably ate it all too. Uh huh. Ching ching. Them chicken, chicken wings <laughs> probably look like how they Bruh. did it on Granny's. Bruh, them Granny's. <laughs> Them grannies, man. Yo, let me tell y'all something. <laughs> okay. But no, nah, shout out to Brandon, Lola, Shay, Tanisha, Taylor, Deidre, Tanisha, and Carl for tuning in. I know it's so many of y'all tuning in right now. Don't be shy. Please get involved. We would definitely love it, and we would definitely appreciate it. So um, before we get the show on the road, we want to thank everybody who tuned in um, last week for the one-year anniversary of Get Loose Radio. We really had a great, great, great time. Commercial-free, stupid stupid and stupid we we was just being stupid at night well last night well, well last we stupid week stupid every night no but last year we took it last night we took it to, last week dip it, dip it, we dip. took it to a different level i was about to say you last night yeah, well, hey, <laughs> i might as well shoot i might as well come down and do what we do best shout out to darnell for tuning in too man but no definitely Aww. we love and appreciate you guys support mm-hmm. and today gets get loose radio sponsored by main street hat Blue Lois Candles, and you guys, the Get Loose Radio family, okay? Yeah, so, Lola, uh, what do we got for entertainment news, girl? All right, so we're going to kick this off. Congratulations to Miss DC. Yeah. She was crowned Miss USA over the weekend. Cara uh-huh. McCullough, she is the second in a row Miss DC to win it. Deshaunna Barber crowned her Miss USA on Sunday night, and it was amazing. Congratulations to her. Another African-American woman is now Miss USA. She will go on to be uh, to compete for Miss Universe, mm-hmm. so we send her love and support through there. She did come under controversial window for, for her statement. They asked her how she felt if uh, health care was a right or if it was a privilege. Okay. She did say that she does think that it is a privilege. She, um, in order for you to have health care, you need jobs. Mm-hmm. Right. And in her mm-hmm. sense, she believes that it is a privilege in order for you to have health care. Um, people were not uh, were upset with her about that. But I mean, you know, it's her opinion. That's yeah. what she that's her experience. Yeah. So I will not fault her as that. So congratulations again to Miss D.C. And we'll see her in Miss Universe, see how she does. Uh, congratulations to Kevin Hart and Nico Parrish. They announced their pregnancy Monday night. 
She's having a boy. Having a boy. <laughs> she's having a baby boy. Congratulations to the Baltimore native. Um, so can, she's from Baltimore. She yeah. is from Baltimore. Oh, I didn't yes. know that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So uh, she's having a boy, a baby boy. So she was just happy because the next year around this time she'll be celebrating Mother's Day with her. Oh, that's okay. so nice. So really that's good. Soft. It would. It is. I, you know, I love babies. So she made me say. Well, according to Kevin Hart's ex, he's she's gonna be babysitting. So oh. we'll see how that goes. <laughs> All right. So Steve Harvey. Uh, Steve Harvey, of course, you know, he has multi jobs, he's family feud, Steve Harvey talk show, the radio show, this, that, and the third, Miss USA sometimes, everything. He wrote a note to his staff telling him that he needs to take more time to himself. And if they need to get in contact with him, they need to have an appointment. I'm paraphrasing. They need to make an appointment and this, that, and the third. Do you think Steve Harvey was wrong for making the uh, no. Hell to the no. Reason why. My thing is this, and we were just talking about this before we got on the show. Mm-hmm. Steve Harvey is at probably what well, he if he's getting to the top of where he is in his career. My thing is this: you at the point right now, man, where you don't need to answer to anybody. You know what I'm saying? Look, you know, have your assistant take care of that. Mm-hmm. Now, do you think he should have more than one assistant? Obviously, he needs something in place because mm-hmm. it's apparent that there's an issue with people busting into his dressing room and taking up his time. He's talked about it on his show before right. that he needs to work on his time management. So that's probably where the whole letter is coming from. Mm-hmm. But of course, you know, in Steve Harvey manner, he's not going to say it in a nice way. He mm-hmm. He's going to keep it all the way real. And that's probably what rub people wrong. But so what? It's his business. Mm-hmm. If you don't like it, quit. Let me tell you something. I totally agree with everything that you just <laughs> said. Because even now, I don't we don't even feel like talking to everybody. That's true. You know what I'm saying? That's so what true. you so I mean it it got to the point where if you are at you are at like a comedian says with the Steve Harvey T V show, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You just finished Kings of Comedy. That could be a little different. You know what I'm saying? You just getting your radio show in LA. But right now, bro, you got too much stuff. Yeah, he has a lot of jobs. He does. He does. And he's just moving his talk show to L.A. from Chicago. So, you know, the the transition is going to be big enough as it is. And with his stature, he needs at least two executive assistants to be handling this. Because if people are walking into your dressing room, knocking on your door, and thinking that they could just take up most of your time when you're trying to get ready to go on air that's not acceptable and a lot of people don't know he does when it, when it comes to family feud or the talk show he does at least three to five episodes yeah they because they film them like in the morning time like eight to like 10 and then they take a break and then they come back and then they shoot some yeah. more so, so yeah. his days is full and then he has to go straight he has to fly and go and shoot for a family feud that's why he's moving his talk show to la because right. he shoots I Wait, thought they did Family Feud in Atlanta. I thought they yeah. did it in LA. No, Atlanta. I think it's in Atlanta. Because it's, it's, um... it's said Made in Georgia. Oh, yeah, that is end. true. Yeah. Right. But yeah. yeah, his talk show is going to LA, so he's going to be going back and forth still. You know? Yeah, but I think they have a shooting schedule for Family Feud. What's probably mm-hmm. like three months or something that they three shoot months. all the episodes. That's they cool. they have a good schedule for him. So. That's good. That's good. So yeah, I uh, hopefully he does that. Uh, you, January, your mom was home. I know. I saw yeah, that. Yeah, she just from the airport. Yeah, we glad you made it safe. Glad you made it home. <laughs> we glad you made it home. So you know that that's that. Okay, um, Bethune Cookman, <laughs> so gangster. Yeah. Oh my gosh, the life that I got watching that video. Bethune Cookman, uh, well, the board decided to invite Betsy DeVos, Secretary of Education. Who the hell thought that was a good idea? Why I don't know. Do At the commencement at a black college. I uh, exactly. Well, the students they had other ideas when she started to speak they turned out they stand up turned their backs on her that's right and it was ridiculous so, <laughs> they I'm, booed her too i'm gonna be honest with you i'm gonna be honest with you and it was funny because i saw i saw uh one of our listeners commenting on that i think leave uh darnell put a status about that on facebook and one of our listeners commented on that if she would have came to Bowie state she, she came to copping throw, throw she her. came to copping morgan anyway uh, in near the here. It'd have been she bad. wouldn't even. She wouldn't have been standing up there. I'm trying to tell you, she'd have walked off hurt. First of all, Sadie ain't letting that happen. <laughs> Back in my time, Sadie Gregory wasn't going to let that happen at Coppin State University, so I ain't got to worry about that. You know, no. but it is what it is. But don't cook, man. Congratulations, hell, Wildcats! Congratulations to the class of 2017. Stand up. Congrats. For your future, because yeah. it, it is not with Bessie DeVos. So no, congratulations right. to that. Um, and we also have to say goodbye. Season seven is going to be the finale for one of the most loved 
TV shows that I love. Scandal is going to be ending yeah. next season. Yeah. Season seven will be the end of it. We, I mean, but I'm pretty sure everybody saw this coming if you actually watched the show. Because right. <laughs> Fitz is leaving. And yeah, you know, I'm so going late. Down. I'm like on season five. I've yeah. like missed like two seasons because I just I watched the first episode of one season and I was like, um, Scandal. You gotta get I some can't. time. I couldn't, yeah, I couldn't do it. I stopped watching it. Yeah. But I was really into it, but yeah. I stopped watching it. But see, it. I've, I've always watched it. I've always watched Scandal. I've gotten back into Grey's Anatomy. You know, I never watched I, that. But Scandal, you know, it, it, I, I also knew that Scandal was going to be, you know, leaving eventually. Yeah, well, they, I mean, she said that. It was based around two terms of, mm-hmm. you know, Fitz doing his eight years and then he mm-hmm. has to leave. So, you know. You know, we say goodbye to Scandal, and you know, okay. hopefully, it'll be a great season seven. And uh, and How to Get Away with Murder is about to. Oh yeah, How to Great How to Get Away with Murder. See, I was with stay, that like so. the first season, and then I didn't understand nothing that happened, so I watched the last episode of the first season, <laughs> and I was like, the hell with this. Episode. No, yes. I was, and then I didn't understand what the hell was going on. Then I watched the last episode of the first season, and I was like, the hell with this. This requires too much thinking. I'm done. So you gotta watch it with somebody because you yeah you I couldn't some I stuff. could yeah, yeah I missed everything so don't, don't worry we'll help you out I know the we'll black dude you. got killed that's why yeah, the whole that's, I know that's that. the reason why yeah, yeah I was done yeah so you know it is what it is but um you know I look forward to the season finale Absolutely, and everything man. all right so um Wizards played last night game seven yeah. And lost. Yeah. Um. You know, Wizards did a hell of a job. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, it just, it just didn't yeah. work. <laughs> no, they, 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 they it just trying, didn't work for they them. Play, they were trying to play Boston basketball. Yeah. They, they should have just stuck with playing Washington mm-hmm. Wizards basketball. Yes. I'm like, that, like, why are you forcing threes? Mm-hmm. You can't. You, the threes are not going in. The only person who was really doing his thing was Bradley Bill. Right. You know what I'm saying? I think at some point in the game, they went away from. Dishing him the ball. Yeah, but they always said that Wizards can win at home, but they can never win on the road. And they need to change that. They, they, they honestly, I think they were, I think, uh, their one of their big men were injured. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But my thing is this, bro. You need y'all do need to invest into uh, some big men too. So, yeah. But I mean, congratulations to the Wizards. They yeah. made it to round two. They didn't. I don't think they made it to round two. Well, they lost in round they two. Always, they, the... they always lose in round. Okay. One. Well, you know they. they you know. <laughs> Hopefully y'all can get to further than that, but you know, congratulations to them to making it. And Darnell, yes, I did remember about the Fox show that got canceled. It's called Last Man Standing. It's with Tim Allen on it. Y'all know Home Improvement. Mm-hmm. Tim mm-hmm. Allen, he had a show called with Black. Oh, oh shots, shots fired. fired! Shots they canceled fired. It? They. Wow. Just a lot of stuff is actually getting canceled nowadays. You know, they're in the canceling season. It's tis the yeah, season. Yeah, I didn't realize that they canceled Shot yeah. Fires. I did, I did watch that. I watched two shows of it, and it wasn't really that interesting to me. And then they really pissed me off when they started to mix the nightlife and sleep with the lawyer. It, it just got weird Same. for me. Um, but right. yes, I do remember that. And then what the, the show that I was talking about was Last Man Standing. That that had high ratings across the board, but yeah. they canceled it. Yeah. You know? They don't care. Like Trump people love that show because that it was a Trump loving family. Mm-hmm. And the way they showed it, it was just, you know, humor is itself. But right. you know, anyway, um, Tom Brady. My QB mm-hmm. will be on the next uh, cover for Madden 18. Mm-hmm. And now everybody's talking about the Madden curse. We don't really care about the Madden curse, nor do I. We don't participate. I in don't Madden. even know what y'all talking about. So there's a certain thing that says, like, when a person is selected to be on the cover of a video mm-hmm. game, the, the Madden the specifically, Madden yes. Okay. Once they do that, their career is just shot. That's what the Madden well, curse is. So it might happen. We'll see. We'll see how it does, but we're not really paying attention to it. We're good over here. Brandon and- says no one cares. <laughs> um, let's let's, 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 let's keep this real. You're not caring about Exactly. It. Because but every Patriot hater, <laughs> who, every fan of football who hates the Patriots, oh, we're, 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 we care. We care. We care. But my thing is this. I just don't, if he, if, if he does get hurt, I just don't want him to be like, career ending you know what i'm saying like it is what it is. he's a great football player um i hate tom brady just because of the sport he's he's a great quarterback i mean 
yeah. the greatest quarterback mm-hmm. of all time, maybe <laughs> of all time. Well, so I mean, he did an interview and he said he doesn't believe that he is the GOAT and that, you know, that is very humble of him and everything. But I do think he is one of the greatest. So it is what it is. Um, And uh, rest in peace to Michael Jackson. He played uh, with the Ravens, actually. Michael Jackson. He was in an accident. Yeah, yeah that's, that's actually his name. Oh, okay, yeah. I think I saw that. Yeah, he was in a uh, motorcycle accident. Yeah. yeah. And he passed away. That um, That was crazy. But uh, on the happier side, happy birthday to my legend, my icon, my oh, everything. Lord. Give me my moment. Y'all have your icons, but this is mine. And okay, her birthday was ahead. today. Happy birthday to Janet Jackson. Thank you. And that's it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no. That was what like, like, what? Happy birthday, Janet. Happy what? birthday, baby. Happy Everybody birthday. has their favorites. She's mine. Happy Get over birthday. it. She's 51. She looks great. Get yeah, over she it. Does. She yeah, does. she does. She's she looks phenomenal. So this is what we're gonna do. Let's take let's take <laughs> let's take let's take 30 seconds. We'll be right back, okay? All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Get Loose Radio. Um if you missed entertainment news, it was a lot that we talked about. Tom Brady, Janet, um, the Wizards of Boston game, Steve Harvey. Everything you got, you missed it. Just, just re- rewind, just rewind it and check it out. But not, not right now. <laughs> Finish watching the show, then go back and rewind. It, okay. <laughs> um, before we get to the next topic, uh, in case y'all didn't know, y'all should know. Um, get loose radio. We are now selling the t shirts. Um, uh, man, yo, we got everything. We got the black, um, uh, inbox me for details on the price. Um, because I can't put all that out there. Because, you know, niggas, they want to know, well, can I get a discount? If I do it for one nigga, I got to do it for the next nigga. You just inbox me for details, okay? Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> no, I ain't going to nigga festival. I'm on a nigga festival, on a nigga. okay? I've been dealing with niggas all day. Everybody but anyway, be a nigga today. <laughs> but all the shirts are available. Black shirts with the blue print. Um, black shirts with the white print. And white shirts with the blue print. Just inboxes. We will definitely get that information passed on to you. So... January Summers. What? This, this, her segment is going to be crazy. <laughs> Everybody's going to be interactive in this one. Tell me what you got, January. It's not my segment. It's, it's our actually, segment yeah. together. Yeah. It's their segment. So, so I'm going to let them two do their thing. I'll chime in. You're going to participate. I'll chime in when, when, when it's needed. You're going to participate. Okay, so I'll, I'll kick things off. Okay. We, we've been wanting to do this conversation for the longest of times, but we've just had, never had the... We've, something's always come up. But we are officially going to discuss mm. the appreciation of the side chick. <laughs> <laughs> right, which I did not know yes. that there was an appreciation. There is an appreciation for a side chick. Yes, if you is. did not realize it, there is an appreciation. And since you want to sit back on it, you watch the comments because mm-hmm. here they come. All, All right. right, let's go. Exactly. So here it is. Why is why are side chicks acceptable? Number one, that's the million dollar question mm-hmm. because you back in the day, because I mean, come on now, as a man. Oh, okay. participate. Okay. First question. All the married men, <laughs> shut up. Right, because you might because you might get a divorce. Have tonight. you ever had a side chick, a main and a side? No, that's the crazy part. I have not. No, okay, but you experienced. He's smiling his ass life. off. He's lying. I wanted one. I wanted one. I want he one. is lying. Yeah, like Experiencing okay. through your homies and everything like Absolutely. that. Okay. He <laughs> is so lying. So why are side chicks acceptable? Because they will do the things that the main chick would not do. Mm. That's the main thing. That's the main thing. That's the main. Thing. You know what I'm saying? Acceptable for men, of course. Mm-hmm. You know, it's for, surely not acceptable for women. No, because y'all two, y'all are very territorial. Mm-hmm. Y'all don't play that. Well, that's natural. Exactly. Who who would willingly want to share their partner with someone else? Unless you're into that. Okay, that's what I was about to say. Until, if you're into you that, of course, uh, yeah. Because I, I was about to say, first stat. Here we go. Forty percent. Of women that find out that they have the side chick, I have that forty percent that find out that their man has a mistress, side chick, whatever you want to call that, yeah. they have actually accepted it yeah. and leave it alone and well, are happier in their relationship marriage. Well, I wonder <laughs> what I, there has to be reasons why they've accepted it. Yeah, because I feel why. like Money, it's, it's financial. My financial. They don't want to break or up their family. They're even doing their own side thing. They right. don't want to go through the the you know the situation of a divorce, right. and mm-hmm. they don't want to have like you know family secrets and all this other stuff. So there is stipulations to why they accept it, but at the same token, they are happier 
with I gotta meet doing. these these hoes because <laughs> I can't see how you're happier. What a side. I, well, I do get it because as a wife, it's certain things that you wouldn't have to do anymore because mm-hmm. the side chick would do it. But then there's right. the jealousy comes into play too. So uh-huh. it's like how this situation sounds mm-hmm. all bad. It sounds like somebody tires gonna get slashed, somebody gonna get cut. But see, that's the, that's the part of you're not accepting it, you know? Because okay, the side the chick, the, okay, in this situation, this is in the forty percent people, the forty percentile that I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. In this situation, the side chick has already accepted that I am what I am. I am here for the man when he comes, but I also have my benefits because he, he, you know, he pays, he does what he has to do and everything like that. And on the other side, the wife, she gets her benefits too. I hate Brandon. Okay, hold on. I'm going to let y'all continue. I'm going to let y'all continue. So when, as soon as we started talking about the side chick, we had a lot of people like, yes, yes, yes. So. When you ask the question, mm-hmm. you know, why is it more acceptable for, it's you know, somebody said because niggas ain't shit. I see yeah. that. I see so, that all the way. <laughs> so, so, this I is, see that. so, this is what she said. Then why not be with the side trick if she's doing all the stuff your main chick isn't? Mm-hmm. Brandon said, because the man is more stable. Of course, right. everybody was like, right. right. And, Khad- and Khadija. Tanisha said, because they feel they feel like all dudes are going to do something, so they stick with the one who they think is the best That's choice. That's a valid point. That's mm-hmm. a very valid point. Right. Mm-hmm. Brandon. Shut the, hell up. Shut the hell up. Yeah. Please, be quiet. <laughs> please, please be quiet. Please be quiet. <laughs> but then no, but Disha came back and she said having a side chick is like having your cake and eating it too. Exactly. Shout out to Dara for tuning in. Now, shout out to everybody for tuning in. I'm sorry. For, That's for exactly what it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But who, I guess the question is, who does it benefit more? Does it benefit the more more the man or the wife? It depends on how you look at the, the situation. <laughs> because, okay, okay, look at it this way. Let's use 45. I'm Melania. I don't want to have sex with that. Hell to the no. However, buddy. this man in 30 minutes can make about $30 million. Mm-hmm. I ain't going nowhere. I got a child with him. I already did what I had to do. I got yeah, a child. Yeah, they most definitely I'm not sleeping I'm together. Mm-hmm. I'm going to stay in New York. Right. He go and do what the hell he got to do with somebody right. else. So, yes, in, in that situation, it benefits the wife for her to be exactly. in the present. Mm-hmm. So, I appreciate the side chick in that situation right i would agree you're here because you're doing everything that i don't want to do Yeah, because when he take because, off them taped up we- weaves mm, right that's something terrible and <laughs> because yeah. if you it, this is how you got to look at it from from the wife's point of view mm. when you step up to be a side chick you are fighting for what i have right but you're not gonna get it but because they, he's but- never gonna let me go yeah, but Period. they still live in that lie as if they are gonna get pushed up to the main chick. And that's that now they're not a part of the forty percent style. I can tell you that right now. Those are the and ones that sneak in. Those are the ones that has high hopes and high dreams. Thinking they're gonna get that number one spot. And thinking that it's gonna rule the world and y'all he's and, gonna leave it, her. It very and rarely happens. It's not gonna happen. It's not going to happen. Because for one, that the main one even though he doesn't treat her as if she is the main or the only one has been there through turmoil, through pain, through strife, through jail, through anything else in his life. And here you come because he don't feel like hearing her mouth about it. <laughs> That's why. Well, it's a fantasy thing too, mm-hmm. because when you go on to see a side chick, you're not talking about the bills. You're not talking about the kids. Who, one thing. Right. So it's it takes a nice teenage dating phase. I mean, like they say, ain't nothing better than old pussy except right. Right. new pussy. So yeah, yeah. and that's really what. It, but do the but do the men also get tired of? <laughs> I hate him. Do do you think the men get hold tired on, hold on, hold on. of the side chick? You heard of the producer? You heard of the producer? No, no, no. You better listen to this man. No, listen to this man. Go ahead, Zalika. I'm Shoot, listening to him. Let's go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> so do the men get tired of the side chick and switch up side chicks or do mm. they continue having the same side chick because after a while mm-hmm. the side I mean, chick gonna start getting on your nerves we, you can't recycle you know what i'm saying you, no i mean get a new one not get recycle. A new one? yeah yeah oh, you can get a new one absolutely because i would think they would get a new one when she starts talking about relationships and why you ain't leave her and, the, uh, it depends on the man though a lot of times they still they stay through that too because they just feed yeah. them a bunch of lies. Mm-hmm. That's really what it is. They just feed them a bunch of or, lies. Or, or the side chick might get sick of you. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Or or you might be the side dude. You never and know. And you don't know that. Mm-hmm. So, so let me ask you a question. 
I was talking, we were talking about, you know, I was saying that, you know, women, y'all will get emotional. I don't think y'all can handle that if y'all be more acceptable of having a side chick. Mm -hmm. Do you think a man would be more acceptable if y'all had a side dude? Oh, hell no. That's not about to go down. Ain't no man, ain't no man gonna sit up there and let they chick knowingly have no side dude if they consider themselves being the main dude. Now, if they don't consider themselves being the main dude, then what can you say? Right. Stat check, 60% of men that actually cheat on their women do it because they feel the need to have sex with multiple women. However, if their woman was to step out on them with one man, they would die. Boy, they they world. cannot they cannot handle that situation. Boy, so as Kong far as nothing. her having a side dude and all that other stuff, I do not think that that would be able. No, to it's not gonna work. It, however, it'll never happen. However, on the flip, <laughs> some guys appreciate just being a side dude. Yeah, they do. like like what's that guy's name? I I watch him on Facebook. He is so funny. Capri Fernandez. He made a video about being a side dude and getting pissed <laughs> off because she broke up with her boyfriend. <laughs> And she came to him talking right. about he wanted to be her man and everything. He was like, fuck. Okay, so, <laughs> Gotta find you a new dude, man. So, so Darnell said, aren't you supposed to eat your cake? And Tanisha was like, well, most times you can't show the side chick in the daylight. Uh, Darnell said, so it's about maintaining the bag. John, John, shout out to John. John what is maintaining in. the bag? Oh, okay, okay. Okay, so um, John John said it's not about the benefit; it's all short term. So for all the women, you know, that think it's all about the money. Deidre said, you know, what we were talking about was justifiable situations. Mm-hmm. Tanisha said, shit. Sometimes the dick. <laughs> oh god, here we go. Oh, Lord, she I'm said scared. sometimes the dick is wet and she happy, so don't have to fuck. Wait a minute. Sometimes oh, the wow. dick is wet and she happy, so don't have to fuck him as much. So she appreciates the side shit. Okay, yeah, okay, that makes saying. sense. Exactly. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know, and, that can make sense. Yeah. And <laughs> she put she. So and um Dar- Darnell basically was like, this is like Olivia Pope right about here. You know what I'm saying? John John says some women Exactly. Some women want to be the side chick. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Ashley for tuning in. Graciela chimed in. She said, I mean, sometimes the side chicks do get elevated with, you know, some rings and a baby. Very rarely. Very rarely. You got statistical now? What's the what's the statistic, statistic on on Oh, I forgot. I have to get that I, have to... I mean I, I know I know some in my uh oh, okay. family yeah, 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 life yeah, 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 that yeah. have done that. Yeah. But yeah. see that that's the problem that because these men they go out there, you you hit your main chick raw and then all of a sudden you get some new pussy and all of a sudden you like man she I gotta get again. that raw <laughs> I gotta hit that raw and then you end up then you end up with two you end up pregnant at, the same you end up impregnating your side chick who you didn't want to really you know, go to that level or that extreme, right. and then stuck. you get pissed with yourself, and now you stuck and they with both her pregnant for at the same time. Minutes. And they exactly. both pregnant at the same time. Now you your main dummy. chick then left you, and now you you have no choice but to make that girl, you you, you know, your new main. Like, fuck. <laughs> so how often? <laughs> shout out to Mark. So how often should uh, a guy? I'm using the term recycle. How often should a guy recycle? <laughs> I guess it chicks? depends on um how soon you get bored with a chick. Every three to six months. Quarterly. I knew you were gonna say that <laughs> quarterly. I guess it depends on how you know, how. Yeah. how soon you how much you get bored it's, it's, in a relationship. Especially Some people just like the thrill in the beginning, and right. then once it dies down, I'll be like, oh, okay, time for another one. Especially if she lets you hit on the first night. Three mm-hmm. months is all she get before Damn. she start yeah. talk about feelings and yeah. relationships and shit. Uh-uh. It's all that That's conversation is always gonna happen, no matter what. Even if you know your place in the situation, mm-hmm. that that Hello, conversation team. is always gonna happen. Third down. <laughs> All right then. Flag on the flag. Flag on formation. <laughs> wow. Oh, <laughs> no, no, get your ass out of here. Yeah. No. Okay, so why should main chicks be open to the concept of side chicks? Like, give give a reason why main chicks should appreciate side chicks. I, for that. I, I don't have an answer to that because no I'm not uh, signing up for that BS. <laughs> I'm not signing up for that bullshit because there's going to be some slow singing and flower bringing if my alarm <laughs> okay, starts all ringing. Right. Well, all right, we'll put this on the table. What do... And you can answer this since you are a male. Okay. Or, you know, for the side dudes or whatever. What does the side person bring to the table? Just 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 sexual intercourse. Sure. But I mean they could have a good friendship. Y'all can have a good they friendship. They can talk they can have nice talks and walks right now, in the park. All side chicks started with a conversation. Right. Mm-hmm. Hey stranger, 
Right. Oh, with Hi, the big hands. You need to talk. You need a hug. Yeah. It always starts with a conversation. And they fall for it every time. Exactly. Brandon. So it's not just sexual Brandon. intercourse. <laughs> I hate up. you, Brandon. We're going to shut up. And I'm going to make sure oh that God. you pay for that tomorrow. What happened? No, he she, said, oh, I know that song. Oh, no, she said, oh, she knows that song. She, he, oh, he said, oh, she know that song. Yeah, I know that song. Oh, Lord. That's all right, Brandon. I'm going to get your ass tomorrow. <laughs> Remember, you're alone right now. <laughs> Darnell said you knew all the lyrics. Yep. Man. Nah, but no, nah, hey, have any one of y'all done the side check? Mm-hmm. Well? Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, I had side dudes. No. I, well, I was, not to my knowing, I was, <laughs> I okay. was as a side chick. But when I found out, I, it, it was a wrap. How long, I how long did it last? If you don't mind me asking. Oh, it was months. It wasn't like years oh, okay. upon years. It was only months. Quarterly. Quarterly. Oh, oh Lord. It was the change of because the Because it, it was still back in that time where, you know, I was young and I didn't really give a fuck. So it was like, you know, oh. You're not gonna make me no side chick. I'm right. sorry. You know your dick ain't that good. Oh, all righty then. I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> are you the, how are you doing? It ain't that good for me to be, you know, sitting here waiting for you to call me and be like, oh, yeah. Why? See, that's what I, I could know, never I deal I with. Do that. Because I'm selfish. So I, when when it's holiday time or when I want to talk to you, I want to talk to you. I'm not about to be the the side chick because mm -hmm. I'm too selfish. Right. So that's why I never worked for me. Now, I've been a main chick before, mm -hmm. and I knew about side chicks with a certain party. I'm not going to name no names. Oh, please don't <laughs> drop no names. But you don't I've need nobody busting it. through the door. I've known about side chicks before, and um, I've dealt with it thoroughly. And, you know, we've, <laughs> we've had our moments. And, you know, it is what it is. Some men should not cheat because you are not good at it. Now, I Just will agree with you that. Know. I will agree with Just that. Just letting you know. And then you cheat with a, with a turtle. You, that's how it always happens. You leave a swan <laughs> for a turtle. The black swan. Uh, for, uh, the black swan for a turtle, for a tortoise. Don't, don't you head. know that's how it always happens? I got it. Don't you know that? But then they say it's not about how she looks. Bruh, if you gonna cheat on me, I'm sorry. better be bad. I don't trust. I'm gonna clown you. Don't care how good that ass is. I'm gonna clown you. If you can't tie a <laughs> bad turtle, turtle around, <laughs> if you oh, like, I'm crazy. sorry, I can't do it. I turtle, do it. turtle. I'm sorry. If your ponytail <laughs> is no bigger than my pinky, Ooh, you have you an know issue. It is. To get back to work. Going going to if your face looks like a Nestle Crunch bar when I flip it over, I'm not gonna do it. Okay? If your neck makes you look like you are a dinosaur, I can't do it. I'm sorry. Neck look. You, know, you ever seen a man before one. time before? The long one. Ducky. The long you know? one. <laughs> like I can't do it. And then your teeth. Oh Jesus. Mm. What did what did Martin say? Next tooth, a mile. One mile. <laughs> that away. No, I can't do it. Is Colin Kaepernick watching? <laughs> <laughs> cut it. Go to commercial. Go to commercial. I'm sorry. Go to commercial. No, seriously, go to commercial. Yes. <laughs> go to commercial. Oh, wait. Right. But now, like, it's 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 it's. it's Wow. I'm sorry. No, she's not. I'm sorry. She had to get that out. I had to get wow. that out. You know. How long you been holding this on? Huh? How long you been holding oh, this on? Seven years. It's been a while. <laughs> but no, I've let it gradually out. But it's been a while since I went on her. And I'm going to keep going on her. It's all right. It's going to be okay. Leslie Crunchface, she deserves it. It's going to be okay. It's all right. Ew. It's going to be okay. She's still ugly. She's still ugly. I've I seen her places. <laughs> You know you ugly when your hair don't grow no short no longer than hair. Okay? And always got that bump. <laughs> like no. You got that bump side part and wow. you bump it. Trying to make it look cute. No. And you look like right. Daria. I hope y'all like it. Yeah. I hope y'all enjoying tonight's hey, episode. Yeah. I'm sorry. Y'all get to the point after one year, you might as well just go away right about that, right? Right. You know, one year you've been on the air, you might as well say, Hey, like whatever. <laughs> Let it, let it, let it, let, oh yeah, I'm, let it all I'm, hang out. I'm in shock right I'm in now. shock. It's all right. I, I, oh, Harpo, who this woman is, oh. type face. 
Oh. The animal wearing hoe. Sorry. Oh. Tanisha. <laughs> oh. show <laughs> is ugly. Uh, all right, y'all. Okay, we coming back. We here. We here. No, no, no. I'm not sure. If Me I'm and Jay here. were here. I'm not sure if I'm here or not. I'm, I'm here. here. I got no other choice but to be here because I ain't got nothing to do with this. I'm here. I'm, I'm here for all of this. I'm sorry. Are you back? You back? Am I mm. back? Yeah, I'm back. You took back. January to a whole different dimension. I'm sorry. She don't know if she want to be January. Summer's a winner. I'm sorry. But right. <laughs> some, I'm sorry. Some hoes you just can't save. And still being hoes. And still being hoes. Mm. Put Julia, your legs I don't know. Side. I don't know, Julia. Just I don't know. put your legs know, on brother. one side of the fence and just stay the fuck there. How about that? Sorry. Where's that cord? I, my ADD kicking I'm sorry. in. I need that cord. Oh, right no. Here, please you know? don't stop playing with the cord. Dude, I, I can't. Stop. She got to so, stop. I can't. I'm sorry. All right, you good? I'm good. I can't. All right. So, be, so since you already want to rant, <laughs> let's, bring, <laughs> let's bring it back real quick. I'm here. So, mm. I'm pretty sure everybody knows um, Monique. Yes. We're tired of Monique. Monique went off <laughs> on Lee Daniels, Tyler Curry, and Oprah. About her being blackballed, you know, in Hollywood off of a movie. Uh, it's from Precious. It's from it Precious. all started with Precious right. because she didn't want to do the press run and go to, I think it was Cannes, it's like Cannes, <laughs> the spell film it. festival. Cannes. I don't know. I can't spell. A N N E S. Anyway, she wanted. The oh, backstory of it, she wanted compensation for going to cons. Canes. Look, I, look, cons. look. It's, I, it's, I, it's, it's in it's France. France. It's called no, cons. 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 No, 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 no. That's what Hollywood says. No, it's canes. I ain't French. We, we look. I'm black. We Baltimore. 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 No, Baltimore. No, Baltimore. So, Baltimore. So, so it's cons. Baltimore. Right. So basically, she wanted compensation. For doing the um, press run at at cons because they um, premiered Precious there, right. and when they said it was no compensation, she was like, "Girl, bye. She ain't showing up." Okay. Because she felt like it's taking time from her children, and if she's not gonna be compensated for, she's not gonna do it. So she's saying that she was blackballed from that situation, and that she was actually up for the role as Cookie on Empire, which I do not believe she was. She was. I, Taraji, no. Not she was, no, but no, seriously, t- cookie, um, Monique was actually in the running. Lee Daniels did consider her for Cookie, but... No, he keeps denying that, though. No, she he, she was Maybe considered. She was. Well, I mean, Monique my point is, I want Monique to shut the hell up and stop talking about this shit from five, six years ago. Monique, nobody care about you being back blackballed. You keep blackballing yourself but open up your damn mouth. Shut, shut the hell up. Did you see her video? I yeah, I saw it. Yeah. And she talking about Oprah and Tyler. Them people don't give a hot damn about her you know how much money they make they don't care about monique well she's saying that they whiteballed her like she couldn't work with any white executive oh shut the, or something like you that. know what you I know what i hate it. sometimes black people have this misconception that when they don't get stuff that they want that somebody done blackballed them somewhere they might hop out and just be you or just an asshole and don't nobody want to work with you mm-hmm. okay so i guess you answered the follow-up question i right. had is she wrong for putting these people out there so i it's her opinion. She's not necessarily wrong. It's yeah. her opinion, mm-hmm. but I want her to shut the hell up and stop talking about it. Well, let me ask you a question. Do you do you get paid for going like the tours, press tours, and press releases and all that stuff? I, I yeah. So but this why, particular why, situation, she wasn't going to be compensated. So why, so why didn't she get paid? Well, I mean, oh, it's because she won. Did she win the Oscar? She won the Oscar. Or the, which one is well, it? Well, she was on. No, this was way before the the Oscar when they was on doing the press run. Because if they had premiered it at um Khan's film festival, okay, I had it wrong. They were just I had listening. it wrong. She was asked to do press when she won the Oscar. Oh. And when you do, when you go around with the Oscar and stuff, you don't get paid for that. And that's what she was talking about. So I had the story wrong. But that's standard. That's not just right. you. That's everybody. And she was like, girl, bye. I need my coins. And they were like, bye-bye. So, oh, so she thought she was going to get on that, that high horse and right. not promote after you right. become an Oscar. Right. How do you feel, though? How do you feel about that? I think that uh, she feels some type of way, and she put herself in this situation. She and, talked to and him. it's much. unfortunate because of the situation that she was in and the people that she associated herself with at the time. Mm-hmm. And the fact that you did win the Oscar okay, at you that, saw that point. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I saw, I saw <laughs> okay. that. Okay. That's not my ADD. I saw the blink. I saw the blink. 
and the fact that you associated with these people at the at the certain time it it made you it 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 dimmed your your star in your spotlight yeah some and people just for you to talk. blame that on oprah lee and tyler the very people that actually gave you the the role that gave you the oscar is actually just a smack in the face so of course they're going to come back and lash out you and those are the three top black people in right. the entertainment industry that you, you do not want to have on your bad side so oh my, my my question now is like how many doors are now going to be closed she closed I think them the, herself. I wow. think the door has been closed for a while. They have because the she only thing that she, her. the only thing that she has been promoting, and the only thing that she has been getting TV shows for, is the fact that she has an open marriage right. with Sydney. Right. That's the only thing they got to They got a radio about. talk show. That's the only thing that she has to talk about right now. Don't nobody want to be around Monique. Don't nobody want to talk to her unless they are talking about how how she has an open relationship with. Uh, her husband Sydney. Other than that, don't nobody want to give her no damn role. Well, don't she was in Almost Christmas that. though, and she really did a good job in that movie. Mm-hmm. She was in Almost Christmas, but that's the last thing she's been in. That's, that's the only thing that I've ever seen her in yeah. since yeah. Precious. And Precious was supposed to be that opening door for you because you wanted, you said specifically you wanted to get into serious roles. Right. Well, right. that was it. She did an but excellent job. You pulled out of it. I mean, when you get an Oscar, there are certain things that come with, there's certain responsibilities that come with you being an Oscar winner. And if you're not going to do ex- the press run specifically. I hate Daryl. I hate Daryl so much. We about, about to, we about we to about block Daryl. So Daryl said, Daryl said, are those new glasses? Lola eye, Lola eye is big as shit today. Still pretty though with a smiley face. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we know. Okay, we're going to disable his comments. No, you can't. Because he's you can't. he's if fired. If I can't disable a lot of people's comments, he's fired. Only person's comments who gets to say was my cousin. That's it. <laughs> but yeah, I, I don't I, care. I point blank. I think Monique is just bitter. Yeah, I think yeah, so too. At this is. point, and yeah. I'm sorry to say that about her because I do love Monique. I yeah, really do. But I think that she she kind of did this to herself, and she is like this generation's example of Mickey Howard because Mickey Howard was blackballed too, but it was also you know guilty of association. So, mm. what can Monique do to get back on everybody's good side? Shut the hell up! She can't. She can't. At this point, no, I'm no. pretty sure Lee Daniels don't want to talk to her because Lee Daniels is very straightforward and blunt what's well, so friends and they're so talk about close it. friends that they could talk to each other yeah, like that lee daniels is probably at this point you know he is very upfront he don't play tyler perry is probably the only one that'll probably listen to her because oprah ain't got time no not at all you see I how long it to... took her and yana to get back on good time yeah they <laughs> so... had me for a while they <laughs> no. had me for a while no so I, I, at this point i think monique needs to just shut it down and talk about something else in your in your comedy yeah because why you keep Bringing that up, maybe Netflix will hit up. I don't know. Mm. I don't no, know. I don't think so. No, no. She ain't got nothing right now, though. Mm. Maybe Marlon will put her in her in his new sitcom. He got, you know, he got a new sitcom. Yeah, coming on she, Marlon. Marlon. yeah, mm-hmm. it's coming on in August. And he loves Monique. He loves yeah. Monique and Kim Whitley. He loves him some big girls. I tell you that. But I guess if you know, maybe he'll call her. But at the end of the day, Monique needs to just stop being bitter and move the hell on. Yeah, that's what yeah. I. That's my. That's my vote for Monique because mm-hmm. I'm tired of hearing her talk about it. Really? Yeah, I mean that's very true, man. Focus on. I mean, you want these serious roles. Do what you got to do to get these serious roles at this point. You know what I mean? And but not, I mean, I. But got... the thing, and the thing is, you made a stand up about it, and like told told all three of them to. If you had a dick, they can suck it. Like yeah. I get it. I get like, it. You trying uh, to be real, but when real goes wrong, when real goes wrong. You're going to be the only one standing there. You ain't going to have nothing but your comedy stand up to go on, which is not that funny in the first place. So, I mean, just chill. I still watch her on the Parkers every morning, though. That's the only thing that she got going <laughs> for. Hope that she get Parkers. them residual checks. Good looking, Daryl. I need to know that score. Like, I need to know the score. But th- thank you for that. Though. Oh, Lord. To go to state and Santos. Man. Like, I mean, I already know they're going wrong. But I mean, okay. So, okay. If, if okay. Well, if Monique does apologize, which mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure that would that not ain't happen, happening. do you think Black Hollywood would accept her guy? Somewhat. I mean, I mean, Lee Daniels did. I mean, he gave her a shot when he gave her Precious. Well, that's it. That's it. It is. It's like a college. Apply. That's tough. 
Because you got to really get I don't think. I think because to me, I think Black Hollywood is more strict than regular Hollywood. Yeah, because they, they'll forgive, like, right. Robert Downey Jr. Jr. Yeah, was a cokehead, alcoholic, all, all of that. All now he's Iron Man. But at the same time, Black Hollywood, they don't play that shit. Because once you're gone, you're gone. They're like, you're not going to burst us. Like, yeah. don't, don't, don't come at us. Because I guess it's so then, hard no. to get Black projects out there from the mm-hmm. beginning. Exactly. So when you have somebody that's being a jerk, Mm-hmm. that's starting controversy that doesn't they don't want to work with you if you're difficult and, and that's just the name of the game you already walk you through the door with the disadvantage and, right and you, you are black. Right, and you're talking about the top you're talking about right. top entertainers in black hollywood this is the most successful people that we know in black hollywood tally perry has his own you know production he has his own shows and then he's connected to oprah because he airs all of his shows on her own network right. like what are you doing and then you throw <laughs> lee daniels in the mix to just sprinkle some rainbow on it and here you go. Right. So it's like you can't mess Leah, with Lee is like, yo, I thought we was cool. Because yeah. they had squashed it the first time she started talking that right. nonsense. Maybe right. she's still, she's like, like Lola she's said, still she's mad. still bitter. She's still bitter. I, 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 something. I, she's bitter. It's something deep. <laughs> he does. He does. Lee, shut up. <laughs> but so I mean, not going to laugh. Keep it But I mean, I just think Black Hollywood is very, very strict on on ourselves because we are trying to separate ourselves from regular Hollywood and benefit off of it by oh, yeah, making sure. all of us, you know, more important than anybody else in Black Hollywood. We're trying to make a stance for ourselves. And then when you come in and you start talking about, oh, Lee, Tyler, and Oprah need to suck my dick. Yeah, that, she went too far like, what? with that. Yeah, well, she went too down. far. I understand she's a comedian, but she went you too far. You see how we did Stacey Dash? Uh, oh, traded. Stacey, Stacey, she Stacey, can't even Stacey, knock on the door Stacey, at Black Stacey, Hollywood. Stacey, Hollywood. Stacey, Stacey is done. Stacey's done. Stacey Dash. Exactly. You Stacey know who? Dash like, what, uh-huh. We traded her. Remember, remember the episode? <laughs> oh yeah, we, we took her. Show? We took Gary Owens. We took, mm-hmm. uh, we took Gary Owens. Put Stacey Dash. But, um, Ashley said that you know Black Hollywood is smaller. It's hard for us to be black every day. Is that much harder for us to be black and famous? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that is true. true. And, and the fact of the matter is, people have to realize that new. Black Hollywood is on its way in the door with yeah. dear white people, mm-hmm. blackish, all of this, stuff. all the newbies are coming in and all of the old, you know, older generation is kind of fading away a little bit because, you know, Monique, she's out of there. She's not really getting the just that she used to get when she was like with the Parkers and Moesha and all that other stuff. The new generation is coming in and they're like, Monique cool. What? Yeah, yeah, she. Oh, you mean the girl from Precious? That's that's how they know her in this. Know her. Yeah, Auntie need to go sit down. Don't know that she's a comedian. No, Auntie so, need to go sit down. That's all. Yeah, yeah. she. Uh, Monique has moved into the Auntie role. Kevin Hart's supposed to be getting his own network. Yeah. Yeah. It's isn't it called Laugh Something? I think so. I heard out. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, Brandon said Kevin Hart might give her a shot. Yeah, yeah, because he likes her. No, he likes her. He likes her. Kevin Hart is a businessman at the end of the day. Kevin might give her a shot, but... Why are you hitting the screen because so hard? Everything, right everything went out. That's why. Everything yeah, it kept doing that to me, too. Yeah, so we just going to be natural with this stuff. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, it, it, is what, it is what it is. I mean, I applaud Black Hollywood. We have come a, long, a very, very long way, and I think that's why we're so strict and we're so um, hard on our own, is because if you see where classic black Hollywood came from right, and the, the standard that they set and what they had to go through, you would understand why black Hollywood don't take no shit from nobody exactly. or try not to take no shit from nobody. You know what I'm saying? So mm. it's just, you know, we try to move forward and progress forward and we're not trying to do that by telling people to suck our dicks. Yeah. That mm. not to mention, you know, we got a black, we got black shows on major networks. Too. Yes, blackish. Like, you know come on, I like, love blackish. 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 Dear white, I mean, dear white people, they got a hundred percent on Rotten Tomatoes. That is very rare. Get Out had a hundred percent on Rotten Tomatoes. Like, we we're evolving. Yeah. Even though it don't seem like it, well, we're evolving. Speaking of, black, speaking of black shows on black networks, did you hear what Terrence Howard said? Mm-mm. Terrence Howard said that Empire has reached. Multiple masses than the Cosby Show. That is very true. I would. I would. Believe I'm about to say, that. what's your opinion on that? I would believe that. I would believe that. Well, I mean, that, I that, don't know about that. that. I mean, it's a different precedent with Empire. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's it's a different precedent when it comes to Empire because I mean, it's more drama. 
the music itself, you know, mm -hmm. and the climates that it has, and you know, everybody's all in, and 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 what it stands for at this point, I, I I do believe that because I mean, at that time when the Cosby Show came on on Thursdays, yeah, you know, that was like the only black. TV I mean, that show. was like a family thing. Yeah, you sit down I don't and think do you compare Empire like and, and well, the Cosby Show. I wouldn't show. compare the two episodes, but I do say that the reach, I can I can definitely see that the reach is bigger with Empire than it is to the Cosby Show. So is so even with the acting now, because a lot of people saying that the acting is trash. On Empire. On Empire, and I agree, the acting is trash. I mean, think about it. Like the main people, yeah. I, I mean, I guess I'm not really paying attention to it that much. That I'm mm -hmm. really dissect dissecting the acting skills, mm -hmm. I guess. Mm -hmm. But I mean, can you follow the story? Well, can you say you follow Empire more than you follow the Cosby Show? Mm -hmm. I no, I actually stopped watching Empire. I stopped yeah. watching Empire. thoroughly after the first. So that's season. why. I, that's why. Yeah, I, I watch it, but I'm not like really, really into. I think the novelty has worn off as far as Empire. They reaching, you know what I'm saying? They trying to do something. I think it's right. like they're making it up the day before, yeah. and they're like, "Here, go shoot that." Yeah. Now I do like Star. Perfect. I thought Star was excellent. I, I oh, her Star is Star good. was really really good. Versus Empire, because he has all new. None of these people really have act before. Yeah. So for them, like us, uh, what you call them, Puffy's son. Is really good on that Quincy. show. Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought he was gonna suck, but he was really good on that show. I think with Empire, I think Empire gave us too much too fast, and now they're running out of yeah, ideas. Yeah, I think so. They're, I mean, because they tried to compete, and they can say all this one, but they tried to compete with power, and they gave us too much. At too yeah, you can't at, compete with power. Warp uh, speed, no. and now they're running out of ideas because you can't put everything on a public television right power station, they can know? get it in power they can do it because they on stars so they sure. they got every kind of aspect to go at but when you are on fox yeah and you're on like channel five and you're coming on at nine o'clock it's only you so can't much really you can do. do that you know and and the fact that you come on at the same time as law and order svu you yeah, that's my joint. Right you there. already debatable. I'm with with <laughs> and I'm, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. First, but tell me what y'all think. If if Empire came on at Tuesday nights at nine thirty, Get Loose Radio came on Tuesday nights at nine thirty. Who gonna watch Power? I mean, who gonna watch Empire? Well, we are not gonna watch it because we're gonna, gonna be watch here. We ain't watch Power. Yeah, I, I promise you, everybody will be watching yeah. Get Loose Radio, man. I mean, I'm That's just crazy. saying. I mean, you you have more angles to go. I mean, just like Insecure. Yeah, I love yeah, it. I, I love it. I can't wait for it, you know, it. the season went, two for season that. Two. Yeah, you know, they have a this... lead way with that, like with and being on HBO and stars and everything <laughs> like that. I, I I think they have a more lead way than they do when you put something like that on to Fox or NBC yeah. or ABC and stuff like that. So um I, I just I just think that they gave us too much and yeah, I would agree. Because it was popping at first. It was. And then it kind of like nose died. It, it was like after Lucius went to jail, it was like, okay, what you gonna do now? Take him out and put him back in jail. You can't yeah. kill him. You right. know, you can't kill Just him. Just like Ghost is in jail. Why right. they put my baby daddy in jail? I can't oh, wait to wait. see how they gonna play that one. Why they serious. put my baby daddy in that's jail, gonna, that's father? That's gonna be very, very <laughs> interesting. So, I mean, well, what what type of shows are you into now? I know, I know for sure people have been talking about American Gods. I have I've heard, not got into I that yet. Seen it. I it. haven't got into it yet. <laughs> no. Oh, see, I I haven't even. Got, yeah, we got extra person. I haven't though. got I haven't got into it, but I heard that American guy. Well, I cut my stars off, saying. so if Cody ain't got it, <laughs> the kid ain't watched it yet. Oh my That's god! Is, Speaking of Cody, that is so terrible. Anybody that wants to see Get Out, they got a really good HD copy on Get Out. Oh. What? Watch it on Friday. Oh, shucks now. Okay. HD. <laughs> On Coach? Yes, sir. Oh, man, Coach I actually nice. started just watching this new one on Netflix called Chewing Gum. Yes, oh, hell. The, it, it's very what's, what's, funny. What's it, yes, the one that's trying to get rid of her virginity. So, what's that? So, so, <laughs> she's trying to get rid of her virginity. Like, she's feeling she's as though she's, yeah, she's feeling like, like she's an outcast. And, and she's, she's like, like, and she acted in, it's based mm -hmm. in like a British project. Mm -hmm. so oh. You get to see television from the Another perspective, because mm -hmm. he has like a best friend that's pretty. Okay, why are you just saying? Like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because it's we got four minutes. We got we got two minutes left, and she lucky. <laughs> she just talking She's from lucky, the floor. We've been I mean, asking her. So, she should have just got on the mic. So TV recommendations. 
Um, of course, power when power comes back mm-hmm. on. Insecure when that comes back on. Mm-hmm. Um, that's about it for me. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I watch Dear White People. I'm like the third episode in. I mean, I, I get it, but yeah. then it's kind of like, it's can y'all like get to the point? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, can mm-hmm. y'all get to the point? I got you. Right, so, I mean, that's pretty... I watch reality TV, that's what I watch. Oh, okay. All right. Y'all have an issue. Okay. Well, I'd say Chewing Gum. Um, I just got finished watching 13 Reasons Why. And on Hulu, I am into Handmaid's Tale. That shit is off the chain. What the heck is that? Handmaid's Tale. It's this girl. Like, when it comes on, you see her running through the woods with a kid and everything like that. And then you see what you think is the police, like, Mm. attack her and take her back. And hell no, it's like this convent kind of thing exactly. where they train and they they brainwash these ladies and they keep them in this kind of room with cots and stuff like that and the man oh. that keeps them is impregnating them and everything okay yeah i don't need to watch it that like that ridiculous. that's what gets me off handmaid's tale is off the chain if you have hulu check out handmaid's tale all right last words january go final thoughts go i have no final thoughts nope. as usual cool no <laughs> peace and love Spread love, roll out. All right. Uh, I'm Nick Stats about to get this radio t-shirts. Be sure to tune them in. I'm uh, tuning them in. Be sure to inbox me if you want a shirt. I got all, I got everything. Come on now. Uh, the show ain't get loose radio. The show ain't, the show is for everybody. But it is for everybody. You already know what it is. We see y'all next Tuesday, 9:30 p.m. on Facebook Live. And for one last time, you already know what I'm about to end it with. Stay away from them goddamn bull dykers. <laughs>